The massive Russian nation covers 17 million square kilometers, one-eighth of the habitable land on Earth, and 11 time zones. Whoever thought Russia would continue to play a smaller part in European geopolitics have been proven wrong since 2014. From Kaliningrad in the west, bordering Poland, to the Far East and Shukutsky Autonomous Okrug, only a small leap from Alaska and the United States. Russia is divided into 85 federal subjects. In this video, we will take a look at every single one. We start with one of the three cities in Russia, granted status as federal cities, and hence a federal subject in its own right, St. Petersburg. The second largest city of the nation has a population of over 5 million, and is located in the northwest of the vast nation, being Russia's main port on the Baltic Sea. During the 20th century, the city was renamed first to Petrograd and then to Leningrad from 1924. The city suffered greatly during World War II, when the siege of Leningrad cut off food supplies to the city, killing more than one million people of starvation. After the fall of the Soviet Union in 1991, the city was renamed back to St. Petersburg after a referendum. The city is home to a rich cultural life with museums and theaters, including several UNESCO World Heritage Sites, as well as Europe's tallest building, the Lachta Center at 462 meters. St. Petersburg share a number of local departments with surrounding Leningrad Oblast, even though they are two separate federal subjects. Leningrad Oblast inhabits 1.9 million, but the largest city, Gatchina, is home to only 79,000 people. The Oblast borders the European Union twice, with Finland in the north and Estonia to the west. The Oblast borders two of the largest lakes in Russia, Anjega and Ladoga, the latter being the largest freshwater lake in all of Europe. The Neva River runs through the Oblast, from Lake Ladoga through St. Petersburg and to the Baltic Sea. The Republic of Karelia shares the lake Onyega and Ladoga with Leningrad Oblast, and also borders the White Sea to the northeast. The Republic also shares a long border with Finland. The border between the two countries was established by the Treaty of Moscow in 1940, after a far from successful invasion of Finland by the Soviet Union, starting the so-called Winter War. Finland did, though, lose the rights to 13% of its territory, and in an attempt to take that back, invaded the Soviet Union during the Continuation War only a year or so later. After the wars, the boundaries established in 1940 was reinstated. The Republic has a population of 600,000. Murmansk Oblast has a population of 700,000, and is located on the Kola Peninsula, bordering Finland and Norway to the west, the Barents Sea to the north, and the White Sea to the southeast. Its largest city, Murmansk, has despite being the largest city above the Arctic Circle, only 300,000 inhabitants, and a mostly ice-free port. Unlike parts of Siberia further to the east, Murmansk enjoys the same warmer temperatures as Scandinavia, due to currents in the Atlantic. The indigenous population of the Sami people now represents a tiny minority of the population, and mostly live in the Scandinavian countries. Peskov Oblast contains the westernmost point of contiguous Russia, bordering Estonia to the northwest, mainly through Lake Papus, Latvia and Belarus to the southwest. It has a population of 600,000, of which a third live in its largest city of Peskov. The city is one of the oldest in Russia, celebrating its 1100th anniversary in 2003. Kaliningrad Oblast is an exclave of Russia, located by the Baltic Sea. With a population of just over 1 million, it is surrounded by European Union nations, with Lithuania to the north and Poland to the south. The once prosperous region has, since being surrounded by hard borders to the EU and NATO, been economically compromised with the lack of land access to mainland Russia. Proposals of visa-free travel between Kaliningrad and the EU have so far been rejected. Novgorod Oblast suffered hard during World War II and was occupied by Nazi forces. To this day, it remains relatively sparsely populated for Western Russia, and has a total population of just under 600,000. The largest city and administrative center of the oblast is Veliky Novgorod, once in the 14th century one of the largest cities in Europe. Today, the city remains one of the larger stops on the train ride between Moscow and St. Petersburg, but the population is just over 200,000. Just to the south, we find Tver Oblast, home to 1.2 million inhabitants. Like its northern neighbor, the oblast has a long history of settlements, and located on the Volga River, it was an important republic in the Middle Ages and onward. 
the capital of Tver, named Kalinin from the 1930s up until the end of the Soviet Union, has a population of 400,000. Smolensk Oblast borders Belarus to the west and has a population of just under 1 million. Being located between Moscow and Russia's western border, the oblast, with its capital of Smolensk, has been destroyed many times over in wars and sieges. Science fiction writer Isaac Asimov and the first man in space Yuri Gagarin were both born in Smolensk Oblast. With a similar population of around 1 million, Kaluga Oblast to the southeast of Smolensk shares many aspects of history with its neighbors. This part of Russia is home to many more advanced industries, including many foreign companies, benefiting from the proximity to Moscow and Europe. Bryansk Oblast is the only one bordering both Belarus and Ukraine, and is home to 1.1 million people. The proximity to northern Ukraine resulted in Bryansk being the Russian oblast that suffered most environmental damage after the Chernobyl nuclear disaster in 1986. Moving southeast, we find Ariol Oblast, with 700,000 inhabitants. Just under half of them live in the main city of Ariol. The industries dominating this part of Russia include mining and refining of metals including iron, manufacturing of machinery and other industrial products. Agriculture also contributes significantly to the economies of this region. Kursk Oblast is home to 1.1 million people and sits on the Ukrainian eastern border. Like most of the administrative centers of the oblasts in this part of Russia, records of Kursk dates back to the 13 or 1400s. Slightly larger, with 1.5 million, is Belgorod Oblast, further down alongside the Ukrainian border. The oblast has a major iron ore industry, and has historically had a large trading with Ukraine. Voronezh Oblast has 2.2 million inhabitants, and has similar industrial outputs as its surrounding oblast, but is also a major food producer. The capital of Voronezh is in the top 15 cities of Russia. Rostov Oblast is, with its 4.1 million inhabitants, the sixth most populous federal subject of Russia, and is the main border area with the Ukrainian separatist regions of Luhansk and Donetsk. Rostov Nadonu is in the top 10 cities of Russia, and is, as the name suggests, located on the Don River. The city is an economic center of the region, being the birthplace of Anton Chekhov and Alexander Pushkin, among others, established Rostov as of great cultural importance. The Republic of Crimea is by the Russian government considered a federal subject of Russia, after the annexation of the peninsula from Ukraine in 2014. Russia is de facto in control of the area, which is home to just under 2 million people. Simferopol is the largest city in the Republic. Crimea would be one of the poorest regions of Russia, but one of the active industries is tourism to the Black Sea port cities and towns. The largest city in Crimea, Sevastopol, is considered its own federal subject of Russia, despite that the peninsula in its entirety is still considered part of Ukraine by close to all nations. Half a million people live in the Sevastopol area. Krasnodar Krai is located south of Rostov Oblast and has a long border to the Sea of Azov and the Black Sea, and is the closest region of Russia to annexed Crimea. Over 5 million people live in the region, 1 million of them in the capital Krasnodar. The geographical location makes it an economically important city, and agriculture has the largest share of the local economy. Krasnodar Krai borders the de facto self-governing Abkhazia region, internationally recognized as part of Georgia, but by Russia as a sovereign state. The Republic of Adygea is completely encapsulated by Krasnodar Krai, and is by population as well as size one of the smallest federal subjects of Russia. Home to under half a million people, Maikop is its largest city. The ethnic Adige make up around a quarter of the population. Most of this indigenous ethnic group today live in Turkey. Stavropol Krai is located between the Black and the Caspian Sea, without bordering either one. Home to 2.7 million inhabitants, Stavropol is the capital city with 400,000 people. Here, 33 ethnic groups with a significant number of people live, but ethnical Russians make up 80% of the total population. Under half a million people live in the Republic of Karasaya Cherkessia, where Cherkesh is the largest city. The Republic is located mainly in the Caucasus Mountains and borders Georgia to the south. The Karachays make up 40% of the population, and 65% of the inhabitants identifies as Muslim. The highest mountain in Russia and Europe, Mount Elbrus, stands on the border between Karachaya Cherkessia 
and eastern neighbor Kabardino-Balkaria. Bordering Georgia to the south, the Republic of Kabardino-Balkaria is home to 800,000 inhabitants, a majority of which is part of the Kabardin ethnical group. Turkey is home to a majority of this ethnical group, with Russia in second place. 70% of the population follows Islam. Further east we find the Republic of North Ossetia Alania, with 600,000 inhabitants. Vladikavkaz is the largest city with 300,000 people, and Ossetians make up half of the inhabitants. Here, Christianity is the dominating religion. The Republic borders South Ossetia, a breakout de facto self-governing region of Georgia. South Ossetia is recognized as sovereign by Russia. Ingushetia is the smallest of the federal subjects of Russia, at just 3.6 thousand square kilometers. Home to around 500,000 people, Nazran is the largest city with 100,000 inhabitants. But much smaller, Magas is the capital. Ingushetia is by Russian standards poor, and the region has been affected by violence and insurgency, spilling over from neighboring Chechnya. The Ingush ethnical group is the largest, and the vast majority of the population follows Islam. Following the Caucasus east and the Georgian border to the south, we find the Republic of Chechnya, with 1.5 million inhabitants. The region gained partly self-governing status after the first Chechnyan war in the 1990s, but after fighting broke out again in 1999 to 2000, it is once again under total Russian control. It is unclear how many died in the war, but estimations vary from 25,000 to 200,000. Most of the casualties were civilians. Chechens is the major ethnical group here, and Islam the predominant religion. The capital of Grozny, home to 270,000 people, was the epicenter of the war and gained international attention. The geographically larger region of Dagestan borders Chechnya to the west, Georgia and Azerbaijan to the south, and the Caspian Sea to the east. Three million people live in the ethnically diverse Dagestan, where Islam is the dominating religion. The capital of Mashatskala is home to half a million people. Moving out of the mountainous region of the Caucasus, geographically large Kalmykia has a small population of under 300,000. The Kalmyks is the main ethnical group, and this is a rare case of Buddhism being the dominant religion in a part of Europe. The capital, Elista, is home to 100,000 inhabitants. With coast to the Caspian Sea to the southeast and to Kazakhstan to the east, Astrakhan Oblast is home to close to 1 million people, half of which live in the capital of Astrakhan. Kazakhs populate part of this region, but ethnical Russians dominate. 2.4 million people live in Volgograd Oblast, and around a million of them live in the capital. Under the name of Stalingrad, the city was the site of the deadliest battle of World War II, with 2 million casualties. The statue, the Motherland Calls, is the tallest in Europe, and the tallest in the world, depicting a woman. Both the Don and Volga run through Volgograd Oblast, and the Volga hydroelectric station is the largest in Europe. Further north, still bordering Kazakhstan to the east, we have Saratov Oblast, home to 2.3 million people. The capital of Saratov has a population of 800,000. This region, as many to the north and west, is dominated by ethnical Russians, and is hence split between Christian Orthodox, people identifying as spiritual but not religious, and atheistic people. Tambov Oblast has a population of around 1 million, and 280,000 of them live in the capital of Tambov. Close to 80% of the population identifies as Christian Orthodox. To the west we find Lipetsk Oblast, with a similar population of just over 1 million. The capital of Lipetsk is home to half a million people. The economy of the oblast is dominated by metal processing and engineering. Tula Oblast is located to the south of Moscow and has a population of 1.4 million and has economically prospered by the proximity to the capital city. The city of Tula is home to half a million people and famous for its samovar production. World-renowned writer Leo Tolstoy was born here in 1828. Moscow is the capital of all of Russia and with its 12 million inhabitants it is the most populous city in Europe and the by far most economically and socially vibrant city of Russia. Moscow has up until recently increased in tourism from the West and the world as a whole, and is famously home to many billionaires. While St. Petersburg has the tallest building in Europe, the skyscrapers of the Moscow skyline is currently number 2, 3 
4, 5, 8, 9 and 10 on the list. The Moscow metro system, famous for its architecture and artworks, is the longest in the world outside China and the busiest in Europe. Moscow Oblast is the surrounding area around Moscow city center, with an additional 7.7 .7 million inhabitants. This is an economically vibrant part of Russia, with advanced industries, while the agricultural sector is less prominent here. To the northeast of Moscow, Yaroslav Oblast has a population of 1.2 million, and around half live in the capital Yaroslav. The city is located on the Volga River, and this area in Russia is hilly, but not mountainous with large forests mixed with swamplands. It is also home to large water reserves. Further north, Vologda Oblast has a population of 1.1 million, with 300,000 in the capital Vologda. The oblast has a similar natural landscape as Yaroslav. It borders Lake Onega to the southwest, and basins for Neva, Volga and Onega is located here, with rivers running all the way to the Baltic Sea, the Caspian Sea, as well as the Arctic Ocean. Once again, metallic industries dominate the economy. Kastrama Oblast has a population of 600,000, with close to half living in the capital. The oblast is mainly covered by forest, and the Volga River runs through it. Going south, Ivanova Oblast is home to just under 1 million inhabitants, with 400,000 in the capital. It is one of the smallest federal divisions of Russia. Ivanovo city is all the way since the 1800s an educational center in Russia and home to many students. 1.3 million people live in Vladimir Oblast, located to the east of Moscow. 300,000 live in the capital Vladimir, which has cathedrals and a monastery that has survived since the 12th century and is today UNESCO World Heritage Sites. Ryosan Oblast is home to 1 million people and the capital half of that. The electronics industry is large here, and military radio electronics are produced in Ryazan. Scientist Ivan Pavlov and Nobel Prize laureate in literature Alexander Solestin were born here. Further south we have Pensa Oblast, with 1.2 million inhabitants. Here agriculture is prominent, in the topologically flat oblast. 500,000 people live in the capital Pensa. In the Republic of Mordovia, 700,000 people live, 300,000 of them in the capital Saransk. 40% of the population is of the Mordvin ethnical group, that also populates surrounding oblasts and republics. Nizhinovgorod Oblast is located east of Moscow, in the center of Russia, in the north-south direction. The oblast is home to 3.1 million people, and is dominated by forests and agricultural land. 1.2 million people live in the capital Nizhny Novgorod, making it the sixth largest city in Russia. The city is famous for its IT industry, and many foreign corporations have offices and production here. To the east we have small Mari El, with 600,000 inhabitants. The capital is Yoshkar Ola, with 250,000 people. The Mari people make up 40% of the population, trailing only ethnical Russians. To the south of Mariel, we find the fairly densely populated Shuvaskia Republic, with 1.1 million inhabitants. Half a million live in the capital, Shebokzari. The Shuvash people make up close to 70% of the population. Ulyanovsk Oblast has a similar population of 1.2 million, out of which half live in the capital city, Ulyanovsk, located on the Volga River. Vladimir Lenin was born here in 1870. To the south, almost down to the Kazakhstan border, Samara Oblast has 3.1 million inhabitants. Around a third live in the capital Samara, with 1.1 million people. A city with a, by Russian standards, high standard of living. The city is notably contributing to the aerospace sector. To the northeast, Tatarstan is located, even more populous than Samara, with 3.8 million inhabitants. Russia's fifth largest city of Kazan is located here, with 1.2 million inhabitants, and is the most populous city on the Volga River. Kazan is a major scientific and educational hub in Russia, and it has invested greatly in hosting international sporting events. The republic is flat, with the highest peak of 381 meters, and half of its population is of the Tatar ethnic group, the second largest in all of Russia after ethnical Russians. A third of the population associates as Muslims. 
with Murcia is home to 1.4 million inhabitants and its capital is Shevsk, 600,000. Udmurts make up close to 30% of the population, trailing only ethnical Russians. Kirov Oblast has a population of 1.2 million, and half a million live in the capital. The oblast produces a significant agricultural output, mainly wheat and rye. Russians make up a great majority of the population. Arkhangelsk Oblast up by the Arctic Sea is home to 1 million people and is the 8th largest federal division by size. 350,000 people live in this capital, Arkhangelsk, located by the White Sea shore, across from the Kola Peninsula. Fishery and forestry are the main industries in the region. The Arctic Ocean archipelago, Franz Josef Land, is part of the oblast and is the northernmost piece of land in Europe. The archipelago is only inhabited by military personnel and is mainly made up of glaciers. The two islands of Novaya Semlya are also part of Arkhangelsk Oblast and is populated only by 2,500 people. The islands were used for nuclear bomb testing during the Soviet era and is mainly covered in glaciers in the north and tundra in the south. Nenets Autonomous Okrug is partly under the administration of Arkhangelsk Oblast and follows the Arctic Ocean to the east. Plans to merge the two in 2020 was met with outcry from the public and later the idea was scrapped. The district is one of the least populated, with just 43,000 inhabitants, out of which half live in the capital, Narian Mar. Oil and gas extraction dominate the economy. The Nenets ethnical group accounts for 20% of the population. To the south we have the Komi Republic, with 800,000 inhabitants. 250,000 live in the capital of Siktubkar. The population is 65% ethnical Russians and 24% for the Komi ethnical group. Forestry is the main industry in the Republic. Further south, alongside the western side of the Ural Mountains, we have Permkrai, the result of the merge of the Perm Oblast and the Komi Permyak Autonomous Okrug in 2005. 2.5 million people live in Permkrai, and 1 million in the capital Perm. Metallurgical industries and manufacturing of machinery and equipment, alongside mining of minerals, oil and gas, dominate the economy. The Republic of Bashkartostan is populous with 4 million inhabitants and 1.1 million live in the capital of Ufa. The geography of Bashkartostan is dominated by the Ural Mountains to the east and plains on the western side. Oil, minerals, gas and metal extraction and mining alongside agriculture make up a large share of the economy, trading, manufacturing and retail. The region is ethnically diverse with 36% Russians, 29% Bashkirs and 25% Tatars alongside a multitude of smaller groups. Islam dominates with 60% of the population. Reaching the southern limit of Russia, Orenburg Oblast follows the Kazakhstani border. 1.9 million people live here, with half a million in its capital of Orenburg. The border between the European and Asian continent follows the Ural Mountains and River and cuts through the oblast. Three quarters of the population is ethnically Russian. Agriculture, alongside oil and gas extraction, is vital to the economy. Bordering Kazakhstan to the southeast, Shelyabinsk Oblast is home to 3.4 million people, and its capital is the seventh most populated city of Russia. The capital is located just east of the Ural Mountains, and grew fast as a result of the building of the Trans-Siberian Railway in the early 1900s. Sverdlovsk Oblast is home to 4.2 million inhabitants and follows the eastern side of the Ural Mountains and is dominated by the western Siberian plain. The oblast is one of the most important in Russia in iron and steel industry, alongside other metals. Yekaterinburg is the capital and the fourth largest city in all of Russia, with close to 1.5 million inhabitants. The city is of great economic importance to the region and to Russia as a whole, and has developed from being dominated by basic industry to having booming retail, IT and finance sectors. 800,000 people live in the Kurgan Oblast, alongside the Kazakhstani border, and just over 300,000 in the capital. Here, food production and packaging of a multitude of products is a large industry. Tumen Oblast borders Kazakhstan to the south and is home to 1.5 million inhabitants, with 750,000 in its capital. 
This part of Russia is the epicenter of the oil and gas industries, and many of the large fossil fuel companies are represented here. Tumen Oblast is administratively overseeing the Kantimansi Autonomous Okrug, as well as the Yamalonenets Autonomous Okrug, making up a large part of Western Siberia, all the way up to the Arctic Ocean. The Kantimansi Autonomous Okrug has a population of 1.5 million, and is a large oil producer. Ethnically Russians make up 70% of the population, alongside many smaller groups. In the Yamalonenets Autonomous Okrug, half a million people live, and it is also a large producer of fossil fuels, namely natural gas. Down again by the Kazakhstani border we have Omsk Oblast, with 1.8 million inhabitants. The capital Omsk is in the top 10 largest cities in Russia, with 1.1 million people. The oblast produces a variety of products in both agriculture and industry. To the north we find Tomsk Oblast, with just over 1 million inhabitants. Oil and chemical industries dominate. The oblast is home to the Vazyogan Swamp, the largest swamp area in the northern hemisphere. Otherwise, it is part of the taiga biome, much like a great part of Russia, outside the Arctic areas and the southern half of the European part of Russia. Pines, spruces and larches dominate the heavily forested Siberia. Half a million people live in the capital of Tomsk, with several well-established universities. Novosibirsk Oblast touches the Kazakhstani border to the southwest, and is home to 2.7 million inhabitants. The capital Novosibirsk is the third largest city in Russia, with 1.6 million inhabitants, located on the banks of the Ob River. A major stop along the Trans-Siberian Railway, Novosibirsk has become an economically vibrant city, with industries in aerospace, nuclear fuel, generators, textile, and a multitude of components and machinery. In Altai Krai, 2.2 million inhabitants live, with 600,000 in the capital, Barnaul. The region is named after the Altai Mountains, which touches Altai Krais to the east. Ethnically Russians make up over 90% of the population. Further southeast, the Altai Republic sits, on what is almost a four-way border between Russia, Kazakhstan, China and Mongolia. Home to only 220,000 people, with 64,000 in capital city Gordon Altaisk. The Republic sits in the middle of the Altai mountain range. The Altai people make up 35% of the population, and the economy of the Republic is dominated by agriculture. Kemerova Oblast has a population of 2.6 million inhabitants, and has metallurgical and mining industries. It is not the least a major producer of coal. Kemerovo is the capital city, but Novokuznetsk is just as large, with both just over half a million inhabitants. Kharkasia Republic is home to half a million inhabitants, with 160,000 in the capital Abakan. Ethnically Russians make up 80% of the population, and the Kharkas population 12%. Coal, mining and timber are the main industries. Krasnoyarsk Krai is the second largest federal division of Russia, with its massive 2.3 million square kilometers, 13% of the Russian nation, and larger than for example Greenland or the Democratic Republic of Congo. 2.8 million people live in this massive area, with a population density of just 1.2 people per square kilometer, less than Mongolia, the least densely populated nation in the world. Close to touching the Mongolian border, it stretches almost across the entire Russia, from north to south. The region has massive natural resources, and is home to the two most powerful hydroelectric plants in Russia, on the Yenisei River. The capital, Krasnoyarsk, is home to close to 1.1 million people. The Tuva Republic is located on the Mongolian border, and is home to 320,000 people, and a third of those live in the capital, Kizil. The area is mountainous, and is dominated by the Tuvan people, who make up over 80% of the population. They mainly follow the Tibetan Buddhism, and that is hence the most prominent religion in the area. Irkutsk Oblast is a large region with 2.3 million inhabitants, out of which 600,000 live in the city of Irkutsk, along the Trans-Siberian Railway. The largest freshwater lake in the world, Lake Baikal, runs alongside 
the eastern border of Irkutsk Oblast. The lake is also the world's deepest and it contains 22% of all the surface fresh water in the world. On the other side of the lake, the Republic of Buryatia is home to just under 1 million inhabitants. To the south, the Republic borders Mongolia, and the Buryat people make up 30% of the population, trailing ethnically Russians. Buddhism is common here, just like in Tuva Republic, and is followed by 20% of the people. Sabaikalsky Krai is the result of the merge of the Chita Oblast and the Agin Buryat Autonomous Okrug in 2008, and has a population of 1 million people. Located in southern Siberia, bordering Mongolia and China, the capital is the city of Chita, with 350,000 inhabitants. Ethnically Russians make up 90% of the population, and the Buryats 7%. Sakha is the largest federal division of Russia, with its massive 3 million square kilometers. This part of the world sees huge temperature shifts over the year, with temperatures in the winter as low as minus 45 degrees centigrade, and as warm as 25 degrees plus in the summer. Close to 1 million people live in the large republic, with 300,000 in the capital Yakutsk. That can be compared to the roughly equally large nation of India, with 1.4 billion inhabitants. The Sasha people make up half of the population. Mining, alongside fishing and agriculture, dominate the local economy. Shukutska Autonomous Okrug marks the last outpost to the north and to the east in Russia. With its 740,000 square kilometers, it is home to only 50,000 humans. With 0 0.07 people per square kilometer, it makes previously mentioned Sakha and Krasnoyarsk Krai seem cramped with people. The capital Anadir is a town of 15,000 people. Across from the Bering Strait to the east, we find Alaska of the United States, the Arctic Ocean to the north, and the Pacific Ocean to the southeast. Great natural resources are believed to exist in the region, but industry is far from developed. The indigenous population makes a living mainly in reindeer herding and fishing. The Shukshi group make up 26% of the population. Moving south, we have the Magadan Oblast, with its 150,000 inhabitants, close to two-thirds of which live in the capital city of Magadan. Mining dominates the economy here, as do ethnically Russians in the ethnical distribution. East of Magadan, we find the peninsula Kamchatka, which make up the majority of the federal subject Kamchatka Krai. 300,000 people live here in the region, bordering the Pacific Ocean to the east and the Okhutsk Sea to the west. It was formed in 2007 as a merge of Kamchatka Oblast and the Koryak Autonomous Okrug. The capital Petropavlovsk Kamchatsky is home to 180,000 people. Here we find many active volcanoes, including the 4,700 meter high Klyushevskaya Sopka, the highest active volcano in Eurasia. Moving inland again, the Amur Oblast borders China to the south and is home to 700,000 people, with just over 200,000 in the capital Blagavishensk. The Trans-Siberian Railway makes stops here on its way to the Pacific Ocean. The oblast produces soybeans, timber and metal goods and machinery for the Russian market and for export to China. Geographically large Sharabovsky Krai borders the Pacific Ocean to the east and has a population of around 1.3 million people. The city of Khabarovsk inhabits 600,000 people and is the largest city in the far east of Russia. Stretching from north to south, the region has a diverse natural landscape with taiga and tundra to the north through swampy areas to deciduous forests in the south. Industry is relatively well developed here, with military industries alongside aerospace and shipbuilding dominating the more advanced sectors of the economy. Small Jewish Autonomous Oblast is located inland, bordering China to the south. 160,000 people live here, only around a thousand of them of Jewish heritage. Mostly, the region is populated by ethnically Russians. Birubid Shan is the largest city, with 75,000 people. The oblast was established in 1928 by Joseph Stalin, not only as a favor to the Jews living in current-day Russia. The Sakhalin Oblast is made up of the large Sakhalin Island outside the east coast of Russia, as well as the Kuril Islands, that make up a chain of volcanic islands between the Kamchatka Peninsula of Russia and the island of Hokkaido of Japan. 
Chelyabinsky Oblast is an economically vibrant part of Russia, with rich oil and natural gas reserves. The population is close to half a million, with 200,000 in the largest city of yusno sakhalinsk And we finish off with the southeastern outpost of Siberia and Russia. Primorsky Krai borders China to the southwest, North Korea to the south and the Sea of Japan to the east. 1.8 million people live here, and Vladivostok is home to 600,000. Being the administrative capital of the Far East, and an important military port for Russia. Being the endpoint of the Trans-Siberian Railway, Vladivostok sees large tourism flows yearly. The region is mountainous and mainly forested, but also see a significant agricultural sector, alongside a large timber industry. If you've made it all the way here, I'll go out on a limb and say that you are interested in Russia. You can check out part 1 to 3 on my channel if you haven't already. Please let me know in the comments below if you want me to cover other aspects of Russia or of other nations. Thank you so much for watching.